Top 10 Asian Destinations Why are single men from around the world considering Asia as their next destination? Well, let's face it, fellas, Asia is a playground strictly for men. Hello there, my name is Sarah, and welcome to this video with all your friends here from Passport Journey. Are you ready to discover the beauty of Asian women and the wonders that our world has to offer? If your answer is yes, then you've come to the right place. Now, in this episode, we will discover the top 10 Asian destinations for men seeking their desirable Asian women. From the neon-drenched alleyways of Bangkok to the ancient temples of Kyoto, this continent is teeming with experiences that cater to the unattached man. Whether you crave spicy street food, breathtaking landscapes, or vibrant nightlife, Asia's got you covered. Bangkok. It's a city that pulsates with raw energy, a chaotic symphony of tuk-tuk horns and sizzling woks. This is a place where ancient temples cast long shadows over rooftop bars and where a delicious bowl of noodles can be had for less than the price of a pack of cigarettes. Wander through the vibrant markets, get lost in the maze-like streets of Chinatown, or lose yourself in the neon-lit nightlife of Soy Cowboy. Bangkok is a city that never sleeps, and trust me, you won't want to either. From the bright lights of Shibuya Crossing to the serenity of the Meiji Shrine, Tokyo is a city of contrasts. This ultra-modern metropolis is a haven for foodies, with Michelin-starred restaurants and hole-in-the-wall ramen shops offering culinary experiences that will blow your mind. Dive into the world of sushi at Tsukiji Fish Market, sample the delicate flavors of a traditional tea ceremony, or lose yourself in the neon-drenched streets of Shinjuku. Just remember, in Tokyo, the only rule is to come hungry. Forget the K-pop hype for a minute, though I'm sure that's got its appeal too. Soul After Dark is a different beast. Imagine a city that never sleeps, fueled by soju and kimchi, pulsating with a kinetic energy that sucks you in and spits you out, hopefully not in the gutter. This is where you come to lose yourself, to find yourself, or maybe just to forget what day it is. The streets are a riot of neon and noise, the air thick with the smell of grilled meat and something you can't quite place but are strangely drawn to. Dive bars tucked down alleyways, KBBQ joints sizzling till dawn, clubs blasting everything from EDM to the latest K-pop sensation. Souls got it all, and then some. Just remember kids, this city plays for keeps. Pace yourself, drink plenty of water, and don't be afraid to embrace the chaos. Hanoi, man. It's like stepping into a time capsule, but one that's very much alive and kicking. You got ancient temples, bustling markets, that French Quarter charm still lingering in the air. But for me, it's the festivals, man. They celebrate everything here with a passion that'll knock your socks off. Tet, the Lunar New Year, is a full-blown sensory overload, while smaller local festivals offer a glimpse into the soul of Vietnam. Imagine a thousand paper lanterns reflected in Huan Kiem Lake, the scent of incense swirling in the air, the rhythmic chanting of monks. Yeah, Hanoi gets under your skin. So, you want to get away from it all? Find yourself, maybe lose yourself a little in the process? Bali's calling, my friend. Forget the tourist traps, the Instagram perfect beaches filled with posers. I'm talking about the real Bali, the one that gets under your skin like the tropical sun. Picture this. You, a surfboard, and nothing but the crashing waves of Uluwatu. Or maybe you're trekking through the lush rice paddies of Ubud, feeling the earth beneath your feet, the jungle humidity clinging to your skin. Bali's about connecting with nature, with something bigger than yourself. It's about finding that quiet space within, even amidst the chaos of existence. Yeah, Bali's a trip, man. Literally. Forget what you think you know about Singapore. Yeah, it's a gleaming metropolis obsessed with order. But dive beneath the surface, and you'll find a city pulsating with life and surprisingly affordable luxury. We're not talking about hawker stalls here, though those are legendary. 
I'm talking boutique hotels with rooftop infinity pools overlooking the city, decadent spa treatments that won't break the bank, and cocktails crafted with an artisan's touch. This is the real Singapore, a place where you can live large without emptying your wallet. Beijing, a city haunted by history, where ancient emperors and communist revolutionaries walk side by side. You can practically feel the weight of the past as you wander through the forbidden city, its vast courtyards whispering tales of power and intrigue. And the Great Wall, snaking its way across the mountains, a testament to human endeavor and paranoia in equal measure. This is a city that forces you to confront the sweep of history, to acknowledge the rise and fall of empires. It's a humbling experience to say the least. Manila, a city that slams into you like a shot of cheap whiskey. Rough around the edges, a little bit chaotic, but with a heart of gold. This is a city that thrives on human connection, where strangers become friends over plates of sizzling sisig and bottles of San Miguel. Whether you're belting out karaoke classics in a smoky bar, or haggling for souvenirs in a crowded market, you're never far from a friendly face and a warm welcome in Manila. This is a city that reminds you of the simple pleasures in life. Good food, good company and a good laugh. All right, you lone wolf, you've made it to KL, a melting pot of cultures, cuisines and, let's be honest, characters. It's a sensory feast, but even with your trusty lonely planet, you gotta keep your wits about you. Petty theft? Happens. Scams? You bet. Stick to well-lit areas, be mindful of your surroundings, and if a deal sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Trust me, I've been there. Remember the real treasures of KL, the hole-in-the-wall eateries, the hidden markets, they're found by engaging with locals. But do it smartly. Learn a few Malay phrases, show respect, and you'll be surprised by the kindness you encounter. Bottom line, stay aware, not paranoid. This isn't amateur hour. Forget your five-star resorts and pre-packaged tours, Kathmandu is where you come to lose yourself, to find yourself in the chaos and beauty of the Himalayas. This is a city that pulsates with raw energy, a place where ancient temples rub shoulders with modern-day mayhem. You want a real adventure? Ditch the guidebook and get lost in the labyrinthine streets of Tamil. Sip yak, butter tea with a Tibetan monk, haggle for prayer beads you don't need, and breathe in the incense-infused air. Just remember to pack your hiking boots, because just beyond the city limits, the Himalayas beckon, offering breathtaking treks and a chance to reconnect with something bigger than yourself. Look, I've eaten my way through some of the most chaotic, most beautiful, most challenging places on Earth. And let me tell you, Asia will test you. It'll push your buttons, make you question your sanity, and leave you craving more. But if you're up for the challenge, if you're willing to embrace the unknown, to get lost in the source, to connect with humanity in its rawest form, then Asia will reward you in ways you never thought possible. So pack your bags, leave your preconceptions at the door and get ready for one hell of a ride. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And as always, until next time, this is Sarah from Passport Journey saying, I wish you happy trails, safe travels and good luck seeking for your Asian princess.